Are you struggling to get power from one side of a base to the other? Or maybe you just want to have automated lights? Well, this is the video for you. Just as a friendly reminder guys, I do stream on Sunday and Mondays on twitch.tv slash pixellifegaming. So if you have any questions with regards to this video or any other videos, come over, I'll be happy to help. Right guys, so in today's quick tip, we're gonna be looking at switches, timers, and relays. And uh, basically just show you how you can essentially use any of those to kind of self-automate your base a little bit and also how to extend the wiring a little bit further than you what you could be right so first things first let's look at the switch here the switch is basically a device um that basically hooks up to your power and then it's basically like a circuit breaker so when you pull the switch it turns it on and then obviously if you pull it up it turns it off just just like a light switch so um to demonstrate that we're going to hook it up to our generator bank here to this light switch and then you'll see that the light the switch itself has like a nice little red indicator that means that power is not traveling through it and uh, if i can just hook that to the switch right here at the top it's showing that it's not lighting at up at all so if i turn this on that's going to turn on that's going to turn on and then powering the lights here but um, I can control this wherever I want. Um, there's a reason why I like switches over relays is that uh, they cost the same amount of power. So if I just hover it, it's one watt. And if I look at a relay here, this is also one watt. And we'll go over the relays in a second. But also they have a nice light indicator. So let's say that, um, I don't know, you have a series of traps or something like that. And uh, you have it hooked up. Uh, and one of, the, uh, one of the switches breaks, right? You can see that the power... Um, let, let's say like these are all hooked up and you're kind of going oh why are these not working you can follow basically where the line is broken so what you can do is just quickly hook that up back to where it broke link that back turn it back on and voila you're basically back in business so that's basically a switch uh, a switch is um, you can use here as well so we're just going to look at the relay so a relay is basically the same as a switch, but um, it's just main function is to simply transfer the power from one place to another, extending your power line, right? Uh, it doesn't have a light indicator like the switch does, uh, and you can't like turn it on and off, right? But we're using uh, the relay here just to power from the generator all the way over here, down here, and I've just wired it like this just for convenience. And I've carried it on over up to here, all the way along here to here, right? Um, this is just to demonstrate that all power devices, you can hook up to nine devices, right? So this is connection one. And you'll see here we've got eight connections. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if I hook up the ninth one, we can hook up there. But then if I try to hook up a tenth one, it's going to say, nope. Like that the power component is maximum co um, number of wire connection and i have a video on that as well explaining that so if you go through to um my youtube channel you'll be able to see that video right but we'll disconnect this so um another thing so this is one thing you can do uh, that's a little bit cheaty so if i let's say there's a relay over there and you want to connect it to like the other side of your base here right uh, if i try to connect this over to this side by the time i get to halfway it's not gonna let me you'll see that the cable is to, uh, red which means it's far too long what you can do is um you can put a relay in the middle like this like so use that relay to connect to this one now even though if i walk up to here it's too long it's red but if i just move a little bit to the left i can reach that one so i can extend my reach and then continue on and connect it to this relay right here okay so that, and that's how you basically do it. You basically just wire it like so, like that. They're a little bit unsightly, um, but I'm sure that's up to your cosmetic, whatever, right? Okay, and the last thing we're going to be talking about is timers. Timers are basically not timer as in like you set it and uh, it'll time for like 30 seconds and it'll turn it off. Basically, timers are like switches during the day. So right here, um, we've got a start time and an end time. So if I make this to say uh, start at like 10 o'clock, in the morning i should have gone backwards here but let, let's go right here so 10 o'clock in the morning and let's say we finish at four o'clock in the morning because that's 
by default, that's when night starts and when zombies start running. And then 4 o'clock is when zombies start uh, stop running. So if we connect this up to here and to these lights as well, like so, like that. And then if we connect this relay up to this one and to this timer. So remember, that power is traveling all the way up there, down here, all the way along, down here along here and then up to this and then it's going to power. So now this is uh, set to 10 o'clock and if I just go into DM mode right here and set the time. So if I do ST01 uh, and then if I do um, 21 hours and then 59 minutes, what's going to happen is by the time it ticks over to 10 o'clock, the night, night has come and the lights have turned on. Okay. And that is that. That's a very quick tutorial for you guys. So that explains switches, relays, and timers. I hope you found this useful. If you did find this useful, please consider hitting that subscribe button and hitting that like button. It really helps with the visibility of this channel. And yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one. Peace.